Hi, welcome to the Holism video blog and today I'm going to be taking you through a mobility drill and a neurostimulation for the knee joint. Now, a lot of people struggle with doing non-sagittal or non-uniplanar movements. So I'm gonna take you through a strength exercise that is a multi-planar movement. Now, with the knee joint, for a lot of people, if they're missing tibial rotation, internal or external rotation at the tip through the tibia, they can't move through any kind of plane other than straight forward, straight up and down. So squatting straight or lunging straight. As soon as you change the direction on them, you start to, you'll start to find a bit of knee pain. So often what people are missing is tibial rotation. So I'm gonna take you through a tibial rotation mobility drill right now. First thing we need to do is we need to lock down the thigh. We need to lock the femur down so that we're not getting rotation from the hip. You can place the other foot out in front of you or you can tuck it underneath, whatever is most comfortable. I want you to take the ipsilateral arm, reach it underneath the thigh, grab a hold of your other bicep, and then you're gonna put your femur into a choker hold, essentially. From here, we're just going to rotate the tibia back and forth. So I'm trying, as best I can, to move the tibial bone back and forth like so. What I'm not doing is moving the hip back and forth. We're gonna do that at different ranges. So you can rotate in, rotate out. Take that up, rotate in, rotate out. Take it up, rotate in, rotate out. If you are flexible enough that you can get this one all the way up to end range, don't. Your tibia is meant to rotate with the knee inflection. It's not meant to rotate when the knee is locked. So if you're rotating the knee, if you're rotating the tibia, while the joint is locked, you'll be doing damage and you'll end up with knee pain. That's gonna tie into the exercise that we're about to use. If you haven't seen V-Log episode number 33, you need to go back and revise that one because that one is going to help us with hip internal rotation, which is what we're about to use. So the hip exercise, the leg strength and hip exercise that we're going to use is called a plie squat or a kung fu lunge, or I've heard it called a curtsy lunge. However you would like to, would like to name it is fine. Essentially what I'm gonna get you to do, start small. Don't go for a big, a big change off the center line. I want you to step slightly forward, about a shin length forward, and I want you from here, you can see my hips are now rotated out to the side. So at this point, my knee joint is not gonna to be too happy if I, jump, if I start lunging down in this position. What I need to do is I need to take advantage of the hip internal rotation that we've just generated from our neurolymphatic reflex rotate in. So I'm going to use hip internal rotation here to rotate in and then from here I can drop down. Our tibia is going to be a lot happier to take any torsion through the knee and there's going to be less torsion through the knee if we've got the strength in the lateral core and hip internal rotation to hold us in this position. Now the thing to remember with these exercises is that you can go up and down. If I'm in this position and I start to put torsion through the knee as I lock out, that's potentially where we're gonna be introducing pain. So, we'll try and stay away from that one. Remember, neurolymphatic reflex first, mobilize the tibia, jump in, have fun, do it safely.